So this is what happens to the cacao that you eat and drink. It starts as a pod on a tree that's 10 to 15 feet tall. It's an understory tree. It likes having large rainforest canopy trees above it so it gets some sun and some shade. This, is, this pod's been dried. They don't last very long once they're picked. But as the pods ripen, they're removed from the tree and the pod is cut open with a machete. And inside are 30 to 50 seeds surrounded by a sweet, tart, white pulp that children use as a snack. In, in cacao growing areas, you see children going around with a cacao pod, eating the pulp, spitting the cacao beans, spitting the chocolate on the ground. And when the pod is open, the seeds and the pulp go into a porous sack. They go into a wooden box with drain holes. If it's indigenous people way out working with cacao in the rainforest, they'll dig a hole in the ground, line it with banana leaves, put the seeds and pulp in there, cover it with more leaves. The wild yeast in the air get on the pulp and begin to ferment it. And so the yeast ferments the sugar in the pulp to alcohol. And because we're the, uh, the oxygen is not being excluded, the alcohol is reduced by bacteria to vinegar. The pulp gets liquid, drains away, and the seeds are then taken into the sun to dry. That is the way cacao is processed, shipped, and sold all over the world. We buy it that way in bags of about 125 pounds each. And one bag after another, we peel it and grind it and bag it. And we'll show you a little bit more of that process later.